everybody michelle is here michelle is here on a saturday may the 4th 2024 and the place to be baby baby hope everybody's doing fantastic magnificently and marvelous because i am i'm having a uh i i feel fantastic this morning i got up you know i'm ready to start my day but uh there is something that's been I've been wanting to talk about for uh, for a while, but sometimes it, it's not until you get the experience of something that you realize, okay, th this is what this is. You know, this is what it is. And so I told you a lot of us are learning a whole lot of stuff and studying a whole lot of stuff, but and reading a whole lot of stuff and doing all this kind of prep work. But usually, it, it is true. If you don't use it, you lose it, you know. And 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 what I want to talk about is the, the, these things that I'm going to be talking about, you know, that I have been talking about are things to incorporate in yourself and make them a part of you. Where, you know, like I said, with meditation, it becomes a habit. You know, it becomes a habit, and you don't even realize if you're doing it or not doing it. You know that it's being done. How about that? And you don't, and you're not necessarily having it always in the forefront, uh, the forefront of your mind, the forefront of your thoughts, and always being concerned about it because everything starts from the innermost being of you, and and th and that, and that brings me to something that that's said all the time, you know, in the uh, troubles with our interpersonal relationships. Let me see what this light looks like. Sometimes it's just too much. It might be better, but so sometimes with the um, when we are in our lives and and experiencing our lives, you know, you can't just stop and say, okay, am I blah 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 blah? Am I meditating? You know, you know. I mean, you can, but th that that's almost counterproductive, right? Just you know, relax and just do the best you can to stay focused and concentrated. And I, like I said, I always start with my toes. I know I want to know what my baby toe, I, I called it a pinky toe the other day. <laughs> I want to know what my baby toe is doing. Okay. With the big toe, you know, I, I, I kind of, you know, I start there. I start from the, uh, from the, uh, the groundedness of it. I told you we're like a tree of life. I start there. Well, you know, what's it, what's the ground like? You know, what surfaces am I on? Okay, all right, cool. And then I start incorporating everything else that I've, all of those sensings start activating themselves naturally and um, without me really necessarily have to be focused on it and be concerned about it. So what I want to talk about today is something that people are talking about all the time. And it wasn't until something that happened to me and others recently that yes is something I want to talk about right now. Uh, hopefully I can get it done in one video, but I may have to do a couple of videos because you know what? You got to keep repeating, repeating, repeating about this. And this particular word that people talk about all the time is trust. Trust. And what does it say about trust? All right. It says uh, trust. It's, it's a noun, apparently. It's a firm belief in the integrity, ability, character of a person or thing, confidence, reliance. Another one, the condition and resulting obligations of having confidence placed in one. And then it says one in which confidence is placed. So, I mean, you know, I mean, that's a heavy, 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 heavy word. That's being used a lot with people and or as you know as an issue you know the, a lot of people say I have trust issues and I'm gonna I, like I said when I say when I start talking about certain things make sure you are suspending your ego your beliefs convictions you know you're not taking everything on the personal this is nothing personal that I'm about to say and, 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 and you know and we, you know, that's something someone has to really, really um, work on that 
taking stuff off the personal. Okay. Right, so so I think that's kind of clear and effective, right? About what I just read about trust. You know, a firm belief in the integrity, ability, character of a person or thing, confidence, reliance. I don't like the word a belief. I don't like that. Because it ought to be, you know, it's just something that you, it has to be something that's developed into you. You know, it's developed. It requires some some, some work. It requires some discernment. And so in most beliefs, most people don't do that with beliefs. They just take it as face value. They take beliefs as face value, you know, and, and they don't apply any other uh, discernment to it. Nope, nope, you know. So, you know, there's, there's a b- bigger meaning to certain words that we have to really pay attention to what we're saying. And make sure these words have value. Uh, trust is a is a big deal for a lot of people. A big deal. And I've I've said it over over and over again that it's the same thing about love. You know, um, love is love is love. A lot of people say that, but I I, got, I have plenty of videos out there about love if you want to listen to it, but. You know, again, without your ego being involved right now, if you have trust issues, the trust issues are with you. It's not with your ex-wife, your ex-husband, this or that or the other. If you have trust issues, the trust issues are with you. Now, a lot of people are, you know, a lot of people will say this. They'll say, you know, I have trust issues. Okay, that sounds sounds logical, right? But then they start contradicting themselves. And they'll say, because of this, because of that. And you know what? Um, you, you have to be very clear and effective about what that means, what you're, what you're attempting to say about that. When you say, you know, my trust issues are because of this, my trust issues are because of that. Because usually... If you're having trust issues, again, it's coming from you innermost, and the but you're going to get some experience of untrustworthiness. You know, some people are going to be there's trustworthiness and there's untrustworthiness, and it's all coming from you, how you are perceiving it. And these are my theories and opinions for entertainment purposes only. I want to say that because, again, there's a lot of stuff going on that a lot of people are going to get themselves wrapped up in. And it's going to be devastating for them, you know. So trust. Now, um, trust is a, is, is a value, in my opinion, right? It's a, it's a virtue. It's, it's something that you have to develop within you first before you look for it for, from people outside of you. Stand by. So, it wasn't, uh, something happened, Um, I don't know, maybe it's going on two weeks, you know, an incident happened (laughs) with a, uh, with a group of people that I, that I deal with, you know, we all deal with each other and on certain levels of blah, 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 and these are people that I've dealt with for, for a while, for a long time, and, you know, when I say dealt with, you know, we, we, we've been in we are like light-mindedness. You know, we've been on discussion boards. We've been here or there and the other, you know, kind of, you know, in our kind of sphere of uh, spirituality, a lot of people call it self-improvement, wellness, all of that. It's all of that. That's that's the kind of group I, that's the kind of energy I kind of usually end up <laughs> uh, participating in, you know, uh, developing myself as well as doing everything I can to help people. So you cannot put a lot you cannot put a price on a lot of things that I'm talking about because they 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 are part of becoming a human being in the true sense. And I know a lot of people you know I I don't have a problem with people accepting fees and donations from people to spread their me- message. Otherwise, you know. And I know that I don't have I, 
I, I know what I have and I know what I need and what I want to be effective and impactful, okay? I told you if I had a billion dollars, I would give it all away, and I mean that. What am I going to do with a billion dollars? And a lot of people say, well, I know what I would do, and that's fine. Think about that clearly and effectively, though. So trust issues. So you, I hear that a lot. And let me just say this. Um, certain things have to be developed in your adolescence, in your childhood, in your puberty. Otherwise, if you are attempting to take it on now in the massiveness of it, what it is now, it's going to be extremely difficult to do so if you do it at all, if it's done at all. Because when you are younger, you know, like I said, an adolescent, a child, especially puberty, such things ought to be, um, you ought to be experiencing it and, and knowing what it means. And because you have guardianship around you, what do I mean by guardianship? Well, of course, we know that either our parents, our uncles, aunties, cousins, the neighborhood, the culture, the environment, all of that is, um, you know, all part of, um, what help, what you need to help you develop those type of values and virtues. And I told you a lot of words have lost meaning complete. They're just meaningless or they are mental gymnastics. They cause a mental gymnastics in the, in the consciousness and to where you are stagnated. You don't know where to go, what to do. Now, trust issues. Uh, I want to stay on trust issues because like I said, we had a breach of it recently and I knew it was coming because as I said, I've developed myself intensively and I am in a, in, a, in a space of confidence about what I'm doing, what I'm saying, and how I am conducting myself, you know, in my actions and behaviors, in my life, okay? So I'm not concerned what anyone else believes about that, especially when I'm talking on to the Internet, because no one, I mean, who, who really knows anybody if we're just talking on the Internet? And who really knows anybody, if, even if you're talking face-to-face -face with people? Because this breach was with people that I had a face-to-face -face, uh, interaction with, okay, this breach of trust. And so it happens, okay, but if you understand what I'm attempting to say, it, wouldn't, it doesn't matter. So what I mean by that is I developed myself to where I have the, the necessary virtues, the necessary behaviors and actions, and the most important thing I have is free will. Free will. And all of us need to, if you choose to, understand what that means, to have free will. Meaning, regardless of what you're doing or they're doing, I'm... I'm good. It's not affecting me, not necessarily whether it's personal or not. It's not affecting my innermost being because people are going to breach, breach your, um, going to breach you all the time, every time. And the way you handle that is how you're going to get through all of this. Otherwise, you won't. So, trust issues. When someone says, I have trust issues, you could all, and then you start going into, okay, what's that all about? And then they'll say, well, because of my ex-husband or because of my ex-wife, because of this, my job. And so there, that's a contradiction. Okay, and let me tell you why. Because I told you, all those type of virtues and values are your innermost being. So you have, if you have trust issues, you have trust issues with yourself, not with your husband, not with your wife. You have trust issues with yourself. And a lot of people say, well, I know that. You know how people get all offended when you uh, approach them in that way. Um, they'll say, yeah, I know that. I know I got trust issues. And then they get all offended, and then it's hard to kind of reach them and get to them and to help them open up to what they're really, I mean, you, and you have to ask these questions. 
I have done, like I said, done some work on myself. And so if I'm having issues, then I need to start within, okay, and say, okay, instead of saying, well, because of my ex-wife did this or my ex-husband did that, I can say, okay, what did I do to interfere with my trust issues or to, to um, uh, cause me to get all worked up? Because this breach that happened, I guess, like two weeks ago of trust, um, I was fine. I mean, it was a breach, and I'm good um, because it, it, it didn't affect me in, in my innermost. Yes, I was disappointed, of course. I was disappointed, you know, um, um, but I'm good, you know, because outside of me, no one, I don't, outside of me, no one has to prove trustworthiness to me at all. As long as I'm being trustworthy, I'm good. It doesn't matter what they're doing or what you're doing, right? I mean, we, you know, in other words, I take that back on me, okay? And then I, I uh, reevaluate, you know, some of my behaviors and actions, and I take accountability if I need to. And in this case, I did not. I'm good regardless of what happened. And what happened was just because I knew stuff was brewing, brewing and brewing, and I did everything in my in a in a um a fashion of you know hands off to allow people to do whatever they want to do, give people the free will to make the decisions to do whatever they want to do okay if you if you don't want to be trustworthy, okay, don't be trustworthy, okay, but don't do not be surprised. With the um, the you know the responses to that you know what I mean the, the consequences of it when you're not being trustworthy to people and not a man of your word or a woman of your word, okay. You know you know running around telling you know acting all telling people how spiritual and loving you are. Hey, we can all title ourselves and label ourselves anything we want until they experience of that is stand, staring you right in the face and you have a choice as to how you're going to handle it, okay? So trust or trustworthiness has to start within. You need to know what the experience of it is. Otherwise, you know, you, 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 know, you can't be upset with anybody but yourself. If you have trust already within you, just like love, it doesn't matter how people are treating you. You know, the, what you need to do is make sure you're safe in, in those kind of environments. Say for, and what I usually do is I, I walk the talk. You know, I, I do certain things to see what kind of reaction I get from people just to make sure, okay, how do I need to, you know, balance myself more and be more neutral. For example, I had gone to get some services, you know, some time ago. And I am usually, uh, I feel childlike sometimes. I'm friendly. I'm, I'm good. You know, I'm patient. You know, even though I got all kind of responsibilities just like anybody else. I mean, I applied it. I walked the talk is what I'm attempting to say. So I went in to get some services. Again, I am friendly with service providers. I'm friendly, I'm, I, you know, I'm smiling, I'm, you know, I'm calm, I'm appropriate. And um, so when I got to this one particular service person, um, I, I, was, I was being myself. And, and that will always be regardless of the circumstances. But there's a, there's a way to be appropriate and be able to handle yourself in certain environments. Um, so apparently, I don't know what was going on with the service provider, but they did not seem to, um, they, they did not like my, uh, well, I'm, I'm assuming they did not, um, I guess they had a problem with my personality. Let's just say that. I, I have no idea. I didn't question this person. I, because 
I didn't let it affect me because that's going to happen. People are going to be throwing stuff at you all the time. You're going to have to be darting this, darting that. This, you know, and, and sometimes people are rude, okay? Sometimes people are not rude, okay? And so what it, it turns out that, um, and this person said to me, you know, um, that a lot of people saw her, a lot of people don't take her serious. That's the, that's basically what I picked up from the conversation with her without, you know, necessarily asking, but I know how to get kind of certain information out of people. And that's just based on training and stuff. So apparently she, she was feeling apparently that most people do not take her seriously. Okay. That happens. And so I guess she felt that she had to make that clear to me as to why she was acting the way she was acting. It's because apparently she's being watched by her supervisors. Something must have happened to her to where she had been reprimanded about something. And then and you can tell I can tell that she was kinda like doing everything she can to be uh uh friendly with me and gentle, but she she knew that she was being watched. Okay? And unfortunately that is what's that is what we're running into, where people have to build these these fake personas, uh, be superficial, uh, and be outside of themselves just to keep a job. And so I am not the one to interfere with that. Okay, all because I'm retired and happy, you know, and, I, and, and I'm retired from one line of work going into another. So retirement means actually nothing anyway. That is just something that everybody looks forward to. And there's really no such thing as retirement anyway. So just so that's why I said we probably just ought to just, you know, eliminate that because uh, our work and our development continues forever and ever and ever and ever. There is no retirement, actually, literally, possibly, but definitely not figuratively and metaphorically. No such thing as retirement. OK, so that is what's happening with a lot of people, too, in their jobs. We all need to feed ourselves and provide for ourselves, but sometimes you have to morph yourself. Cause, because, for example, as a first responder, but but I'm but I want I want to tell you how to relax a little bit more about that if you choose to, and be more calming about certain situations that you are placed in in these toxic environments. A lot of them are toxic, hostile work environments. I know that. Okay, and I have compassion for people going through that and understanding. So, as a first responder, um, again, I I put plenty of videos out about the hostile work environment and how it affects your it affects your whole well being. It affects your consciousness, your psyche, your peace of mind, all of that when you are dealing with that. Because look, I had I had bills to pay. I had a, you know I had bills to pay. Okay, and I like to be responsible and pay my and, and pay my bills, you know, on time, and um, not be, you know, I've I've gone through those periods of my life where I was irresponsibly financially. Okay, there's no reason for me to be irresponsibly, I mean, financial irresponsible at this stage of my life. Okay, that that was nipped in the bud. Okay, that's the experience I need or the experience I needed to nip that in the bud, okay? So I, when, I was a, when I was a first responder, though, okay, um, dealing with hostile, toxic management environment, I knew how to handle them. I knew how to handle them properly, okay? That's why I was able to keep a job Okay, is how you handle management. And I was in perfect position to do so. It was, uh, it, there was no breach of policy and procedures with me. None whatsoever. It was always a personality conflict. Okay, you know, she has an attitude. 
Okay, I challenged that to where that was taken out of my performance reviews because that is uh, derogatory, and they know that it's uh, usually directed towards women of color, specifically black women. When they say they have an attitude, that's a, that's a cold word to say she's a black female with an attitude and she's angry, okay? There has, there has not, there has, there was no evidence to support any of that, okay? I was not angry. I was clear and effective. I was not submissive, though. That was the key. That was the problem, really. When you look at, when I look at the big picture in my former job, I was not submissive. I was not subservient. And I was not allowing myself to be sub subjugated. And that was a problem, okay? I was confident, and I knew what I was doing, okay? So... To say that someone has an attitude is irrelevant and 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 it doesn't matter. It, that that's no different than saying that someone has blue eyes. That's irrelevant. Okay. So, my point is, I knew how to handle management and get them, put them in their place. Okay, whereas they had nothing on me to to uh, jeopardize my job, but it does jeopardize your. Your confident, uh, your consciousness, meaning you always need to be looking over your shoulder and wondering, okay, what are they looking for now? What are they attempting to, you know? And then I told you about this one toxic, toxic and dis degenerate manager I had, and she was a female, by the way, who uh, was attempting to bring other people into her scheme to get me fired, and they were like appalled. They were like, because they knew. Because they didn't like this supervisor or manager either, but this supervisor and manager didn't know that apparently and didn't believe that. She be she believed that she could rally people against me. <laughs> I mean, it turned out to be really funny because she didn't re she did not realize that most of the people that worked around me cared about me. They may not like certain things that I've done. Who, who does or how I kind of express myself? But they cared about me, and that's more important than anything. And they respected me, and they knew I was walking the talk and was a hard worker, okay, <laughs> and did my job. Um, so my point is this. You have to know, you, you if you choose to, how to handle situations where it's not affecting you when you're dealing with third people that have nothing to do with it. In other words, if you got a problem with management, make sure you keep it with management. Don't take it out on the citizens. I did not do that at all. So that's why, um, and that's what that's also a saving grace for me because most people that were complaining about me were white males, okay, and most of them were complaining about me for enforcing laws and ordinances that were on the books, part of our policies and procedures. Okay, so. If something's a part of your, if something's a part of your policies and procedures, who do I need to be? Uh, who do I need to be loyal to? You know, we talk about that too. I'll come back to that. Well, my job, my job is paying me to, to enforce these policies and procedures. Okay, so in other words, I did not allow that some people didn't like what I was doing outside of. You know, you know, as part of my responsibility, I didn't allow them to to uh, rattle me as such. Sometimes, like I said, I used to go back and forth with people, and I was enjoying that. Actually, not enjoying it, but it was, it you know, in black culture, we need to accept this. Even people in black culture need to accept this. We love to go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. As a matter of fact, that's happening now. You know, in the uh, you know certain cultures of men and women do it too, but mostly I pay attention that it's happening more so with men. Women may be doing it, but men get more attention for it, for going back and forth, back and forth. It's no different than growing up in the in the culture, and they, we used to call them your mama's jokes and stuff like that, the stuff that people would be saying about people's mama. But then once that's over, okay, they're – they're back playing together again. They're having a good time. But a lot of that has changed where our tolerance, we, we, a lot of people cannot tolerate a lot of simple things anymore. You know, they people are offended 
you know, like who, like I was just shocked at the, the certain genders of people, and you all figure it out, who are filing lawsuits because they feel like they were uh, a defamation lawsuits because they didn't like what someone said about them and what people are saying about them. And, you know, it may have been affecting their, their bottom line, I don't know, but there's a lot of that going around, defamation. You know, um, you do need to, you know, uh, be appropriate about how you are going back and forth with people. What I sense is going on is not that it's a, it's a defamation, you know, it's trust issues. You know, people are not necessarily trusting themselves, so that means you're not going to trust anybody, okay? And you're not going to know the difference between trust and untrust or non-trust. You're not going to know the difference if you don't know what it is inside. I know what it means to trust people. I know what it means to uh, have mistrust as well. But I, it's not going to affect me how someone else is treating me per se, until I know what it means to have lack of it. So my point is this, I trust me and that's all I need. I love me, that's all I need. Now, do I want it to be reciprocated? Of course, who doesn't? But I told you that's part of the energy of our thoughts that can help bring that bring that to you. But because of our overpopulation of people, food, uh, animals, buildings, equipment, toys, all of that, a lot of our energy is getting interfered all the time. I told you, again, picture yourself in a field and you are surrounded by millions of people and all of their energy is coming at you. That is what's happening to all of us. But it's all done unconsciously. We don't know that that's happening. It's an unconscious. So that's why you have to infuse the behaviors and actions you, you desire, such as, such as love. What does it mean to love people? Okay, so I know when someone doesn't love me, but it's okay. I still have universal love for them. Doesn't mean I need to be trying to be their friend and all up in their ass. No, I don't do that. That's subjugation anyway. That's why we're so contradicting and we're getting upset because people want to separate. Let people separate. They have a reason to be separating because we're piling all over each other. We're invading each other. Okay, every day for the longest, there's always a breach of, of something you know, breach of our social security, breach of our banking accounts, breach of our location, breach of our sensitive information, all that is happening every day, every hour of the day. We're being breached, okay? So how can we trust any of these uh, so-called entities that have people, you, we can't, but is that gonna, but am I gonna allow that to keep affecting me? No. It just comes with the territory. It comes with the territory. I'm gonna be who I am regardless and handle each situation appropriately. So again, if I have a problem with management, that's gonna be with management only. I'm not gonna take it out on anybody else. My husband, my wife, my children, my animals. I'm not gonna do that. And most people who have dealt with me know that. I don't bring my work home. You know, what I bring home is, you know, I bring home love. <laughs> but I understand outside of, outside of these, um, outside of me, because, I, you know, like I said, I stay, I, 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 I control the innermost part of myself. So if I'm angry with someone, I'm actually angry with myself. That person has nothing to do with it. I allow myself to you know, to take it there, to be angry. And it's rare. It's, it's very rare that I'm angry about anything. That's, you know, um, I just react appropriately. Sometimes uh, I can be very um, forceful when it's necessary. You know, forceful, not necessarily literally, but figuratively and metaphorically where I'm like, okay, 
you know, I know how to, you know, I know how to get someone's attention. So trust issues. If you just, if you get, if you get anything out of what I'm saying this morning on a Saturday, uh, it looks like May the 4th, 2024. If you are having trust issues, the trust issues are with you, within you, but don't be contradicting and blaming people though. Okay. What, what the, what the people have, the people that you may have had that reason to be untrustworthy with, they were just giving you the experiences to know what it's like. And so you'll know, okay, hmm, this is why. And I, the reason why I feel like this recent breach of trust with someone, um, the reason I'm, I'm good is because I knew there was a problem and I did everything in my, my power to be, to wake this person up and say, look, there's some, some issues here. There's some issues here. There's some issues here. And they kept reassuring me that, you know, this is, uh, so okay. All you, that's all you can do. I'm solid. I'm on solid foundation. Okay. My tree of life, which is me, is solid. Okay. So it, it's not going to really matter what other people are doing. Yes, it's, it's interference, but that's why you, have, you need to be able to stand on your feet. Also, you need to be able to stand on your feet. So if you're having issues with management, you see, with me, what my saving grace was to, to get me out of that situation is I planned for it. But then I forgot about it. That's, that's what was so weird about it. I planned for it early on, knew that was a goal. And then all of a sudden, I knew I, the reason why I didn't want to be so concerned about it is and thinking about it because other things have to be taken care of. It was in the back of my mind, yes. You know, it was there. But in the forefront of my mind, I needed to make sure I was safe because I was in a first responder. I needed to be make sure I was safe. I needed to make sure I was providing for myself, blah, 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 blah. So I made that visualization, you know, a long time ago, and I, I forgot all about it, actually. And then the time was there. See, that's what I'm saying about time. You need to really be clear and effective about what goals you're setting. And a lot of people have missed opportunities because they'll say, look, they'll say, especially when it comes to interpersonal relationships, they'll, they'll, they'll make this visual, uh, uh, what visual goals of what they, what they want or need or however in a, in an interpersonal relationships with people. And then before you know, you know, and then they'll forget about it. And that's usually what you're supposed to do because you, I mean, you can keep it in the forefront of your mind, but it can sometimes be distracting. Um, these, I mean, I'm talking about long-term goals. And so, uh, and then when the person shows up, <laughs> then what? And a lot of people, so you just need to just snap out of it. Sometimes we um, get too caught up and our, our responsibilities. And that's why it's so important to meditate, you know, do, uh, do a grounding, do some type of meditation where you are grounded in your reality and you are concentrating and focusing and, and you're being really observant and, and, and engaged in your reality and, to, and you're asking these questions. Okay, you know, am I closer to my dream? Am I closer to my dream? You know, you can say all that, but be very, you know, it's, it's difficult, okay? Our lives right now are difficult to a point of extreme struggle for some people. Some people are in extreme struggle to keep a roof over their head, to have food, proper food. Because let me just say something about food. We have plenty of food, but it's not proper nutrition, okay? A lot of the food that we're eating has lost the value of the necessary substance to make us healthy. Just read the labels, you know, um, and talk to people that work in these areas, like farmers. Talk to scientists that 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 uh, focus on agriculture. Um, you know, do a little bit more deeper discernment of things and see if you can figure out what is really going on. I told you we all are aging. We all have stuff about our face that we may not like, the color of our hair. A lot of people, you know, freak out over gray hair, you know. A lot of people can't stand the size of their stomach. You know, come on. 
you know. Um, yeah, just, you know, just be gentle about all of those kind of things. And, and know that some people love you for whether you have a big stomach or not, you know. It, it, you know. So just be, be calm and gentle. I mean, be, uh, just be gentle with yourself, kind, you know, be friendly. You know, again, know how to appropriately handle a situation where it doesn't affect you so much, where that energy is spouted out on somebody that has nothing to do with it at all. Okay, I'm going to keep my friendly disposition no matter what. Okay, and chances are I'm going to have a smile on my face while doing so. You know, whether somebody's poking my arm to take blood out or whether someone's cutting my hair you know, cleaning my teeth, whatever is going on. Well, I don't know about cleaning my teeth. I don't like that, but I get it done when it's necessary. And also consider what's necessary. You know, are you being so extreme about this and extreme about that? You know, especially we're so extreme about how we're handling our bodies, you know, putting a lot of pressure on ourselves. And then once you get injured, you know. So, yes, trust issues are within if you're having trust issues, it's within you. It's not the person's outside of you. Because if you have been paying attention, which I ha- which I do, and and you knew that there was there was something shaky about my engagement with this person or my interaction, and I, like I said, I attempted to warn this person. But that's all you can do. What else are you supposed to do? And I put this out a long time ago as well about warnings. How many warnings do you need to know what's really going on around you? How many warnings? I know you do have to keep repeating, 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 though, at least seven times or more, you know, as I'm doing my best to disseminate things and help and make things right. So consider what I've said today and ask yourself, you know, can I trust myself? If you have trust issues with somebody, that means you can't trust yourself. It has nothing to do with them. Okay, just think about that clearly and effectively. So I'm going to go ahead and send peace and love all over stars and moon and mountains. Universal love to all. And I'm going to say bye for now. But trust me, I'll be back.